We gotta get, we gotta wait for everyone to come in. Hey, Sam. Wait for everybody. Hey, Leah Cat Eyes Fennel. Crystal Marbly. Hey. Just wait for everybody to come in. We got a couple more folks in here. Hey, Tracy and Pal. Hey, yeah. What's up? Renee. Okay, so. So, Manny, hey, Messiah. Many of you all do not know that um, I have been. Hey, Will, move Wendy's. Uh, many of I, many of you guys, don't know that I have been um, currently. I mean, I've kind of posted about it here and there, but not really, you know, anything serious. So I've been looking for a miniature poodle or a um, toy poodle for um, for myself. Because that's what I wanted. Um, I, yes, I did just get a um, a unexpected dog. Uh, I did just get an unexpected dog, but I rescued him and saved him from a bad situation. So I um, I did get this unexpected dog. So what many of you don't know is that I have been looking for a um, a poodle or a hypoallergenic dog. So a shipu, which is a sh uh, shih tzu mixed with a poodle or a miniature poodle or a toy poodle or um, a Maltese poodle. So a Malpu, you know, just this, this is what I, this is what I've been searching for. Dana. Yes. So Dana knows, yeah, knows that, you know, I've shared with her the dog that I was looking for, the dog that I also paid for. Um, I shared with her for the, the, the puppy that I um, I paid for. So, I paid for this puppy, okay? I paid for this puppy. This is the website. Monso, if you can see that, Monso Poodles. Monso Poodles. Okay? See? Monso Poodles. That's, what I, that's the site that I paid, Okay? I paid them $825 that included delivery. Okay? I paid them this money yesterday. I paid them this money yesterday. And then magically, I get an email today from the delivery service because they deliver it to the door. I get a delivery service, I get an email from the delivery service stating that I need to pay $1,750 for the temperature crate due to weather conditions, or I can rent the crate for $950 and get 98% of that money back to me. Okay. So me being me, I go and I call the number that's in the email. And when I call the number that's in the email, the number that's in the email I call and I get an answer and I'm like, okay, so when, why is there some other fee? Because the breeder didn't tell me any of this. I've already paid my $825. The breeder didn't tell me I needed to pay any extra fees. I don't really understand what's going on. And they tell me, well, due to weather conditions, you have, because we've had other conditions We've had other conditions and we've had other problems. And due to weather conditions, you need to pay a $1,750 for a temperature controlled crate, or you need to pay or you need to rent one from us for $950. And then you get 98% back a day later through cash or cashier's check. Now, I don't know if this is something that people feel. People are so ineptitude or so enamored with, oh, my God, I'm getting a new puppy. Oh, my God, I need to have this puppy. I'll do whatever to get this puppy. I don't know if that's what transpires, but I don't know who in their right mind. After I've paid you money and I have a bill of sale, I have the bill of sale, but I'm on my phone. So I should have done it. I should have probably done this from my Samsung instead of my iPhone. My fault. I apologize. But I have the bill of sale that shows I paid a $825, $750 for the dog, and, and $75 for $75 for the um, delivery to my door. And 
I have, I have a final bill of sale. It's all done. It's, it, 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 it's done. So my, my thought process is, if, do people really think that if you pay for an animal and then there's a new fee involved, do people really just honestly just go, here's my credit card number. Let, here's my credit card number. Run me. Run, yeah, that's okay. And 98, 98% of it back. I'm, I want to say, let me just let this know. I have a good bank. I already have my money back. I'm not really worried about it, but the point is, is that I don't want anybody to work with or deal with or, or have any business with Monsu Poodles. At 2.52 p.m., I got a text message saying, I will pay $450 of the $950 it is to rent it. Then at 4, at 4.33 p.m., I got a message back that I will pay $300 of the $950 rental fee. So I'm wondering what happened in the less than two hours. Or excuse me, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I let the, in the less than two hours, where, where did the 150 go? Because I already paid 825 so I'm trying to understand the $75 was a delivery. The man keeps telling me that the dog is at the delivery service place waiting for me to make a decision so they can send him to me. And if I hurry up and make the decision, I will have the dog this evening. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You know, me, I'm just going to play the game. I'm going to get in my phone and I'm going to do all the things. Now, listen. At 8 p.m., because they told me, because I called back again. After the first time I called, I called back again. And I said, okay, well, tell me the weather conditions that is apropos that works for the, because they're telling me that the crate that the breeder brought them is not going to work for the weather conditions from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And so I just want to tell you, hold on, let me get, let me get another one. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me let me get a let me get a new one. I want to see Lebanon, Pennsylvania weather. I just want to get it. Well, I've bought dogs that I haven't seen on premises, Melissa. So I haven't had this issue. This is the first time. I mean, I already have my money back. It's fine. But I just find it interesting and I wanted to share with everyone not to do it. So this is the weather. This is the weather in, in Lebanon, Pennsylvania at the current moment. It's 61 degrees with five mile per hour, um, five mile per hour winds. OK, on on Wednesday, it's 69 degrees. You see that 69 degrees on Wednesday. And on Thursday, it's 75 degrees. You see so I want to know what weather conditions will make it okay for monsoon poodles, monsoon poodles in Lebanon, Pennsylvania to be able to send the dog in the crate that I've already, that I've already paid for. Because the state, now I wish, again, I wish I wouldn't have been talking to you on my iPhone because I could have been able to show you the text messages. But I, I, I promise you I have the text message and the bill of sale. And I just want to understand what thought process makes people feel like. So you tell me it's it's the price of the dog plus the delivery fee. I assume that I have to go to the airport. You correct me and say, no, you don't have to go to the airport. You just have to come to you just they come to your house. Don't worry about it. OK, cool. What thought process makes I don't know who does it, but what thought process makes people feel like. When you send me an email from a shipping company and I'm going to pay you either $1,750 for a brand new crate for me to keep or, a, or $950 to rent one to get 98% of that back. So the $29, the $29 of that set, the $29 pays for the rental of the crate. I need you to make that make sense. I need you to make that make sense. I need to see if I can see it in my, let me, you know what? Let me see if I can set, if I can sign on to my email and I probably can. Let me see. Yahoo. Yahoo. 
Hold on. Let me sign into my email. No. Now, listen now. I'm on here now. Now, Gracie. Girl, I'm talking now. Stay out of grown folks' business. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. I need to go ahead and find this. Hold on one second. Let me go to my inbox because I can sign in for my other... Gracie now. Hold on. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. Mm-mm. This one I want to do. Hold on. Let me get my other one. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna sign in. Cause we're gonna sign in and maybe I'll let me see it. Hold on. Hold on one second. Oh girl, this dog. Hold on one second. I'm gonna let her out. Go ahead, get out. Girl, you the last one going out and you bark to get out. Girl, they do the most. Okay, so I just want to tell you. Hold on. I want you to see. Express. Oh, that's my address. So I can't even do that, girl. Oh, well, I don't. So express air shifting, okay? Express air shifting. I already knew it was funny with this email, okay? But I want you to see. Look at the options. Look at what it says. Can y'all see that? Do y'all see where it says option one is $1,750 and option two is rent for $950? Rent for $950? Hold on. Rent for $950 and 95% of of it is refundable upon delivery. Okay. If you listen now, listen. Hold on. Hold on. Renting of electronic crate is 950, right? Nine in parentheses, 95% of that is refundable upon delivery. Important notice. If you choose option two, which is the renting. To rent the temperature control crate, 98% of the fee will be refunded back to you after delivery at your door and collection of the crate. So I'm, I, I'm trying to understand something. 95% up here, it says 95. Can you see that? Up here on the top, it says 95% of that will be, 95% of that will be refunded. Do you see a little bit low, lower down under the important notice? Red? 98% of that will be refunded. Mm. We, recommend, we recommend you choosing option two. Since 98%, which is $931, will be refunded back to you after delivery today. Melissa, of course the breeder's in on it. Yes, I believe the breeder's in on it. Yes, that's why I said Monsu Poodles. I'm not worried about the delivery company because the delivery company wasn't getting sh from me. <laughs> I wasn't worried about the delivery company. <laughs> I wasn't worried about the delivery company. I have the text message. I have the bill of sale. Okay, so we recommend you choosing option two since 98%, which is $931. Remember, I'm paying $950 to rent it. So 98% back to me is $931. So you mean to tell me $9 is $40. So the $19, excuse me, earlier I said $29. And I apologize. The $19 that you are keeping is paying for this crate? I'm confused on what we're talking about. This fee will be refunded to you in cash or bank transfer, depending on which option you choose. After you receive your puppy and return the temperature control gate to the agent bringing your puppy. Below is your tracking details. <laughs> so I need to, I, I need to understand. 
So I paid the money for the dog. I paid the money for the delivery fee. I've, I've set it all up. I get a final bill of sale. Everything's done. It's all good. It's all done. It's over, right? Okay, cool. Great. Yay. I'm excited. I'm getting a new dog. I, you know, you can ask Yap. I was all excited. I talked to her about getting this new dog. I was all in it for it because this is what I wanted. It's a black dog. It's all done. Whatever. Okay, great. So, no, Katana, I don't have the dog. <laughs> I don't, this is what's going on currently right now. This is, this is right now stuff, Katana. This is not, no, there's no puppy. So, I get the pictures. I've sent Yap the pictures. She'll tell you. The, 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 the pictures were sent. I sent her the pictures of what the dog looked like. Okay, cool. Then I get this email today to tell me when I'm going to receive the dog. And this is what it is. It's either $17.50 to buy the new crate or $9.50 to rent, the new, to rent the crate for them to bring the dog. Because supposedly the weather conditions, the weather conditions will not allow them to send me the dog in, in, in the normal crate that they brought to the place to deliver to her. To, to, excuse me, to deliver to me. So I called after they told me this and I went back and forth with the, with the breeder. I called back to the shipping place. And I said, well, tell me the shipping conditions that allows it to happen so I can make sure. So I said, so the breeder can hold the dog until the, the weather conditions are proper for the regular crate that he brought. He said, well, he'll have to talk to traffic control and find out from the, from the airport what is it. I said, okay. He said, but you can call me back in two to three hours. And if and so that time is 8 o'clock. So one hour and six minutes from right now at 6.54 p.m., I will be calling him back just to play the game. Because I've already filed the claim and I got my coin. Because I've been a lawyer customer of my bank long enough. And they, they don't make me hold to wait. So that's fine. That's why I didn't mind doing it. Because I wouldn't do it any other way but through my bank. So I'm trying to understand. With Brown Talisha. I work at an airport and I hear about dog delivery schemes a lot. If they told you to pick up up there. No. The, this one, Brown Talisha, they didn't even tell me to pick the dog up at the airport. They were telling me the dog was coming to me. Now, my first dog that I've ever had, my first dog I ever had, I did pick up at the airport. But that was in the 80s. So I don't, you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, Katana's coming. Katana, the dog was coming from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. I have the bill of sale. I have all that. So this is Monsu Puppies. That's why it's in the title of the thing. Like, I don't, like this, is, this is what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't make any sense. The stuff doesn't even compute. Why would I pay you the amount that you tell me that is due to get the puppy and then all of a sudden get another email from this company that's shipping the puppy and now I have to pay you some other exorbitant rate? I don't, I don't fall for the okie doke. So I'm just letting y'all know, don't deal with Monsu puppies because there's no point in dealing with Monsu puppies. I'm not a victim of the okie doke. I already got my coin back. They could, I'm going to play his game all night because he thinks I'm, if he thinks I'm dumb, I'm going to play dumb and play his game all night. And, and, but, but he needs to be, the, the company, he or she, whatever it is, needs to be reported to the Better Business Bureau because none of that shit make, excuse me, none of that stuff, none of that ish makes sense like it doesn't you you can't make somebody pay for the animal charge me a delivery fee and then try to make it seem like now i need to pay an extra fee and but you're going to get 98 percent back but in your email it says 98 percent. then the other part of it says 95 percent. you got to make it make sense i need to understand what's going on is it 95 percent or is it 98 percent do you think I'm dumb? And why, if I pay you on my card, why, if I pay you on my card, would you have to refund me through a cash, through cash? Cash? Companies don't even like cash. But you don't get this through cash or a cashier's check. First of all, I'm no dummy. <laughs> I'm no dummy. And why would you want to pay me through cash or a cashier's check. First of all, you're never going to pay me in cashier's check. And I'm going to run my counterfeit check, my counterfeit pen all across every single one of them dollars. 
<laughs> I put every single one of them dollars. You not getting me. To, there's, there's, there's no way you're getting me together. Like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Olivia Oliver, excuse me, Oliver Lipkins. I that's not true because dogs are being shipped through um, through the through the airport. I mean, I know this. I just didn't like the shipping fee of another place, and I found this place, and I fell in love with the way the dog looked. So I I, I went into you know I I dealt with this place, but no, they're shipping dogs. I mean, it's not like I'm not gonna get a, get one. It's just that. This place thought that they had the okie doke, but they picked the wrong person to do the okie doke with. I'm just not, I'm not okie doke material. Like, you had it for 30 seconds, but I already got it back. So, <laughs> yeah, excuse me, you had it for like 24 hours, but I already got it back. So, it really doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's just, I'm not the okie doke material. You know, but no, I mean, and if the breeder told you that, honestly, Oliver, let the breeder tell you that. That's cool. You don't need that breeder. Yeah, she told me dogs are flying on the plane with owners, but not flying as cargo. I mean, yeah, Oliver, that might be. I mean, maybe that's what she knows, and maybe that's what they're telling her in her state. I can't talk about her state. That might be whatever. You know, I've done this before. It's not the first time I've ever tried to get a dog or whatever. If they say airlines or airport... Wait, let me see. Brown said... Brown Talisha said, if they say airlines or airport... And it isn't UPS Air or FedEx Air. Don't do it. Great, great information, Brown. Brown Talisha, I, I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate you, you, you giving that information to everybody. And this is why I did it. You know, for me, I just felt like I needed to share the information and let you guys know. I, I'm not salty. It, it I just found it interesting. Like I, I, I think it's interesting how people get people on an okie doke. Like I don't understand an okie doke situation. Like. One part of the email says one amount. Then the next part of the email says another amount. Then the man is telling me, the man, the, the man is telling me um, through my text message, it's full refund. I'm like, sir, you're, you're right. One writing is saying one. One writing is saying another. And another writing is saying something else. All three of them don't add up to be two. So I'm going to take my one out and get my coin back and go to another place and get another dog. I'm not worried about it. I don't live. The only reason that I needed to ship a dog in because I don't live in a state that necessarily has any kind of thing that I've been able to find that I'm interested in. Now, you know, I, I, I'm not in a state where I have there's dog breeders and all kind of stuff over here. You know, I'm in a state of like they want to give you they want to give you a a, a, a a cattle dog, you know, or, or I don't want that. I don't want no more hair. I got four already. I don't want hair and all that. I want a hypoallergenic, pretty prissy dog that I can take with me wherever I go when I feel like it because that's what I want. <laughs> Point blank period. But Selena Cooper, I'm glad that you got information from Talisha. And that's why I do things like that so we can all share information and work it out to know things that we didn't necessarily know that was true. So as a regard to worrying about, like, I, I'm fine. I got my money back. My money's fine. As long as my money's, I don't, I don't care. But I do believe that it's important to share information and let you guys know, like, people do do a scam. And I'm glad for a person like Talisha to explain that, you know, if they don't say these two things, then don't do it. I'm glad for somebody to say that. I really, you know, I'm glad. And so that makes me feel like for me doing this, it's a, it's a validation because, it, it, that's the point. I want to inform people. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Dana, yes, I got all that. Yes, I got all the dogs and I take care of them all and I pay for them all. And you didn't see the vet bill for the newest one. And you know, I handle, um, Brown Talisha, Selena Cooper. Yes. UPS air hub is at DFW airport, right? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And I, I again, Brown Talisha, I appreciate you. And I'm glad you're telling the information. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know, for me, you know, for me, it's just I, I felt like I needed to share. Hey, I needed to share because I just didn't want you to not have the information to know that people will try to do it. I mean, Vincent, I can have as many dogs as I want. <laughs> 
I pay for them. If I want seven, if I want ten, if I want nine, if I want eight, I got it all. That's on me. <laughs> I don't have kids, so that's what I got. <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand. The breeder told me, Oliver said, hold on. The breeder told me if breeders are are telling you that they ship right now, it's a scam. She said the airlines are not flying animals as cargo due to COVID. Not sure, though, if she is correct. Well, Oliver, Brown Talisha, can you answer Oliver Lipkin's questions? Because you work at the airport, I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm sure you know. And then Joan Singh said, thank you, Jill, for sharing. Loving you from Stockton, California. Hey, Joan, thank you. Can you imagine the people they have scammed? Yes, Melissa, like down. They scammed them down. <laughs> Teeny songs for shame. I'm about to sell y'all. He has his own house. I mean, Teeny, this is my house. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, yeah, Oliver, absolutely. I, this, this is the point. This is the point of doing this. This is why I do it. Hold on. Let me let these damn dogs in. Hold on. But, oh, all right. Get in here. Monty Maggie. Uh, all right. Now. But you know what I'm saying? Like, this is why, this is why I do it. You know what I mean? This is why I can say, <laughs> this is why I can do and say what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? This is my house. This is, I don't, I guess I just don't understand. Like, if, for me, the biggest thing is I, I, I try to come on here. Hey, Anthony, I try to come on here and share information because I don't feel like individuals that have some sort of platform or any kind of platform or what they call a platform do anything but talk about some drop dramatic nonsense. Like, I, I don't think that, I don't, I think that people love to live in a dramatic life and have problems and issues. That's not my life. I live and do what I want to do in my space because I pay the bills here. That's where I live. That's how I want it to be. If I want 3,900 dogs in here, this is my business. And I bet you, each and every one of you to walk in this door won't smell not near one, not near one dog in here. Cause I clean this mofo like a fiend. Cause I live and do as I please in my home. I'm not on this platform, on this camera right now, telling you what you should do in your home. You do whatever you want to do in your home. And if you allow me in your home with a camera, I'm glad and I appreciate that. And I'm so glad that you want me to see what's going on and I'm going to give you love. I'm going to say, and if I'm not, and if I'm not into what you're doing, I'm just going to gracefully bow out and walk away because it's not something that interests me. I don't need, I don't need anybody to worry about what I'm doing over here because I'm not worried about what you're doing over there. What I'm doing is supporting you. And if I don't support you, then I just go on because there's no point to be negative. Point blank, period. I was about to say, wait a minute. Let me see. I was about to say them dogs are ready to come in thinking about getting a small dog myself. Thank you for the information. Yes, from Baltimore. And that's why I do this kind of stuff. Say it again for the people. Yeah, I mean, I even wish I could work at a vet. I mean, Selena, but there you go. You know what I'm saying? I love you too, Vincent. I'm saying it is a far cry to believe an actual airline ships animals unless it's the owner. It doesn't happen. It's more likely to happen with UPS or FedEx if, if it will happen. This is all I'm saying. And Brown, Talisha, I appreciate that information. And this is what I'm saying. I felt I came on here to share information. I don't really, if y'all don't like the information I shared, I'm sorry. You can move on and go forth. Go forth in your ministry, enjoy your night, enjoy your day, enjoy your hour, watch your TV like I do. Do whatever you like to do in your space because that's your space. I came on here to share with anybody that was interested to know the information that I was going through. This, this stuff upset me because I'm like, man, I paid you my money. I want my dog and that's what I want because I paid you my money. Now, listen, you're not going to keep my coin. And you did not. I already have it back in my bank account because that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do because I because I handle my business. I'm not worried about it. So I got my back. But the point is, I wanted to 
I wanted to give information to individuals to let them know what transpires to people that you don't never know what could transpire to somebody else. This is the thing I just, this is the thing that I, I talk about. You never know what somebody else is going through. And it's always important to try to support each other, even in the darkest moments. Oh, Brown Talisha, I know. No, I'm reading what you're saying, Brown Talisha. Like, I'm with you. Like, I'm saying thank you, Brown Talisha, for responding and giving the information. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm saying thank you to you. That's what I'm saying, Brown. I don't have no problems with you, Brown Talisha, even a little bit. I appreciate you being on here, giving the information, supporting my my, my choice of being on here, giving out information that's helping other individuals that may want a puppy, like Oliver, because Oliver asked the question and he needed the information. And I felt like you were a, you were a, a source to give that information. So I, I, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. But my thing is, like, I just don't I don't understand. Hey, Dion, I'm just I just don't understand the point of like, if you don't like what I'm saying, move on, because I certainly don't. If I don't like what you're saying, I just move on. You know what I'm saying? My thing was, I paid for the dog. I wanted the dog. The dog was gorgeous. I don't have the pictures in this phone. I should have done it from my Samsung and talked to you with my iPhone in hand, but I'm talking to you on my iPhone. But, like, the dog was gorgeous. Yap will tell you. I sent her, I texted her the dog, and I was in love. And... And, it, you know, we're, we're all good. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're all good. It is what it is. But I just felt like I needed to come on here and share some information with y'all. Because I love y'all. The y'all that love me, I love you back. And that's just all it is. Let me see. Joanne Singh said, my sister's in one control here in Stockton. And sometimes I go and help her with large breeds or farm animals. And the condition I see is, oh, my God. And then back, yes. And that's... And that's what I'm saying, Joanne. Like, it is what it is. Like, I need to tell you, this, this dog right here, that's Bo. Bo, Bo was not planned. Hold on. Bo was not planned. Bo was not planned. We got, I got Bo. I didn't get Bo because I knew I was going to get Bo. Bo was chained to Bo was chained to a camper outside, left to shit and shit and pee in his own things. I would not leave him like that. This dog has cost me already over one thousand dollars. I don't care. I don't care. He needed that help. He needed that love. I'm not a person that just walks by somebody while you're standing on the side of the road and walk past you. And I love that dog already. He is a pain in my tuchus. Dana, yep, will tell you. I yell at Bo all the time, but I love him to death. Bo loves to eat, Dana, you're right. Bo loves to eat, yeah, all day, every day. All, and will fight somebody for a plate, okay? But I just want you to know, like, I'm only sharing that because it's something that happened to me, and I thought it was important to not act like it didn't happen or whatever. I've already got my money back. I don't care. If anything, I'm just upset because I just wanted the dog and the dog was beautiful. And I don't have any kids and these are my kids. I just like to spread the love and give love to individuals or things that need it. And I believe that four-legged things, animals need love. If it was up to me, I would have dogs. I would have fainting. <laughs> I would have fainting goats. And I would have pygmy pigs. But I, I, yeah, you know, I live in a city and I can't do that. But that's all. So I just felt like I needed to come on here and let y'all know, like, this is what's transpiring. Don't fall into that. <laughs> Why? Like, like, don't fall into that. See, Dion, you want a teacup Yorkie? That's too much barking. Mm -mm, it's too much. I can't do it. Yes, my dog was my son. I miss him dearly. Lost him three. And Oliver, I'm so sorry. I had a great day that I lost. After I lost my actual child, my actual child, the reason I'm in Indiana, I lost my actual son. I got a great day to help me get through all that pain that I hurt, I felt from that. To, and then I lost my great day. So I understand that they're your children. And this is why, this is why 
I, I give out the information that I do because I feel like we need to uplift each other. There's too much going on outside to be out here arguing and pissing off each other. There's no reason for that. Like, there's no reasons for that. So why not, pre- why not give out the information and uplift one another and, tell every- and, and, and let everybody know who you actually care about, what you feel, and help somebody else not have to go through some sort of pain you might have went through? I'd like to not have you go through some of the pain I've went through. Losing my son is not something I can talk about all the time easily. It's not. And like when I decided that I found the dog that I wanted, I was I was telling Yap for a while, I like this dog, I, you know, or I've been looking for a dog. I don't know what it is, but I want a dog and I'll know when I find the dog that I want. And I found the dog that I wanted. So it just hurt my feelings that you would take my money to think that it's some scam. Like, it doesn't matter. I have, I, have, I have protection on my account, so I got my money back. But I do feel like it's necessary to tell other individuals, you might not deal with this place, but you might deal with another place. And I don't want you to get caught up in that. I luckily, I'm, I'm a lucky enough man to have four other dogs. That's, you know what I'm saying? My landlord poisons them and my sister rests. Oh, oh no, Joanne. Yeah. Gio, I got a call from a customer who wanted to confirm if it was true. Then she was glad she had canceled the transaction before doing the dog delivery thing. I've gotten that call a lot. And there you go, Melissa. There you go. I understand. Yes, De- Deanna have four dogs right now. Like I, I, I have, I, and I understand. Like I, you know, I have, I have four dogs right now. I have, you know, um, Yap yeah, knows this, but I have um, one in the in the uh, what would you say gestation period. He's not old enough yet, but I have a Great Dane that I've already paid for. That's on the way from the old breeder of my other Great Dane, and um, I have him on the way at some point here this month. And but I just wanted. I, I just wanted a little tiny thing for me that was just my little tiny thing that I could put in. I've always said from I was a little kid, I want a little tiny th- a dog that I can carry in a bag or, or run around with. And, you know, and it's just, it sucks. And I'm, I just felt like I should share to not have anybody else go through what I went through. You know, I lost my human son. My human son I lost. You know, that I adopted and all that. And, stuff. and like I said, I lost my human son. And that's the reason I'm here in Indiana. But I take these animals, the four-legged ones, very serious. And the bill for, <laughs> yeah, you're correct. The bill for, for Bo was a lot. It was a lot. But he's so cute. And he's a pain, but I love him. And I love my other three, too. So... You know, I just wanted to share the information. Don't get caught up. Don't, you know, report them to the Better Business Bureau. I'm telling you it's a scam. If you don't believe me, I will share to anyone that wants to see what it is. Um, You know, I I have it on this phone, the iPhone that I'm talking to you on. So I just want you to know, like, it's real. I will show you. I I gave you timestamps and all. So, um, oh, Selena, I'm so sorry. Yeah, dogs can do more than people understand. But... It is what it is. I just wanted to share. And for the rest of you that didn't want to hear what I had to say, I'm sorry, but I still love you. So I love you guys. Have a good night.